What's going on? All right, it's time for the IT crowd as 4E3. Something happened is the title of this one. So <sighs> don't know what to expect, but <sighs> man, I can't wait to laugh. <laughs> like, that, is, that is the only guarantee. Pretty much. Just just as the peep show is guaranteed to make you cringe, the IT crowd is guaranteed to get a laugh out of you. 100%. That's the best way to put it. Yep. Anyway, y'all, before we get into it, be sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, be a part of the channel, not be a part of the community, not just the channel. Correct. There's a big, big difference. Yep. Yes. You ready to go in? Let's do it, man. All right, let's go. Three, two, one. Space. What is it? The simple answer is we don't know. <laughs> or at least we didn't know until now. Hello, I'm Douglas Renham. I'm not a scientist, but I do have a better understanding of what space is than any scientist living today. Where did I gain these insights? From this man, the founder of Spaceology, Beth Gaga Shaggy. No relation to either Lady Gaga or Shaggy. Is the founder of Spaceology, a religion, not a cult. In other words, when it comes to space, he's the man with his head screwed on tight. This is what he told me when I met him on holiday two weeks ago. Space is invisible mind dust, and stars are but wishes! Think about that. That means every star you can see in the night sky is a wish that has come true. And they've come true because of something he calls Space Star Ordering. Space Star Ordering is based on the twin scientific principles of star maths and wishy thinking. If you'd like to know more, there are thousands of spaceology centers all over the UK. No. If that doesn't convince you, well then, maybe you just don't deserve to get what you want. Dang. Wow, you're a genius. That was the best. That was the, the best pitch for a cult I've ever seen. Oh, God. Awesome, dude. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> Why was that? I'm oh, going to use that. <laughs> Space, ma space maths and wishy thinking. Like, yeah. <laughs> science. Oh, God. Like, I can science, bro. I'm going to use that as my <sighs> opening monologue when I try out for all these acting jobs. Oh, dude. Yeah. That <sighs> was absolutely glorious. We can just end it there. That is amazing. That is, that <sighs> is we could, but oh, my, my, my abs hurt from laughing so much. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Yes, Ray. Love the special effects. How did you do that thing where I'm spinning around? Well, in, in that bit, you're actually spinning around. Well, I'm glad you like the website, Mr. Random. I did spend quite a lot of time on it. It's brilliant. And well worth every penny of the 50 pounds. 100 pounds? Well, didn't we say 100 pounds? <laughs> I never would have agreed to that. <laughs> Jen, guess who wanted a helicopter this time last week? And now, thanks to Space Star ordering, has one. I'll give you a clue. It ain't these chaps. You're a skeptic, Jen. You should be more like these. They can't get enough of my space star ordering story. Yes, yes, I noticed you've been coming down here a lot more often because of all the questions. So, Mr. Renham, how did the cosmos grant you a helicopter? Well, I visualized the thing I wanted. In my case, it was a helicopter. I drew a picture of the helicopter on a piece of paper. Then I stood with my back to space, threw the paper over my shoulder, and wished really hard. But when you say that you stood with your back to space, yes. how exactly did you achieve that? I waited till night time. Of course. A couple of days later, bought myself a helicopter. <laughs> Explain that one if you can. I wish the cosmos would make it slightly harder to find our office. Don't worry, Jen. You'll get your wish. Just as one day, I'll get my robot hand. Scientific mind believes in space star ordering. Who's getting the robot hand first? I love Douglas. Just how he is pretty much the epitome of the CEO that knows nothing. And has everything. Or no, sorry. Inherited everything. Inherited everything. Yeah. That's who he is. Came up from a small loan of a million dollars, that kind of thing. Yep. And this yeah. is him. Mm. wanting a robot arm yeah you know i love that i love that the guys in the it crowd are, are just basically taking the piss out of them yeah <laughs> like yeah it's fucking awesome yeah hey you're still up for tonight right i'll go with moscow's sorry jen i find music confusing and annoying 
Roy invited me to a gig once and I didn't really enjoy it. You went to the wrong address. You went to a swimming pool. Are you sure it's not swimming pools that you find confusing and annoying? You're right. It's not music I hate, it's swimming. You know what? I will come, Roy. Thank God. Oh, where's Moss? I can't believe he's missing out on this. Where are they? I'm gonna have to go dance up the front. I'm a bit old for the front. I'm 31. Good view, mate. This is why you don't go in the pit after age 27. You don't, man. Uh, hey, you know, you had your shot at it. We've all been there. And you're like, I, just get out. Don't you can't just wander into the pit. Got to get out, man. Mm -mm. Yeah, that's that's why I'm more greatly appreciating seated venues. Yes, I'm I'm appreciative of the music that doesn't have a pit. <laughs> hey, you're right. You're I'm right. just too old, man. My body, dude. I wake up in the morning, I sound like fucking bubble wrap, dude. I'm just like, mm. dude, I can't even. I'm getting there too. Couldn't imagine. Yeah. I'm like, God. It uh, anyway. Yeah, you get out of town. You hooked up with someone from the band. Yeah. Wow, who, who was it? Norman. Norman. Oh, he's a drummer, right? Keyboard player. What? No, it's just the keyboard player. <laughs> really? Yeah, what? Well, it's just, he's a bit geeky, isn't he, Jen? I didn't think that was your type. Jen's going out with a geek. Are you sure it's not just because he's in a band? Yes, I really am that shallow, Roy. I know you are. Yeah, I'm that shallow. You are, though. You really are. I, I like him. He, he doesn't say a lot. He's more of a thinker. I think he's really cool. It's because he's in a band. Oh, <laughs> flippin' hell. Is this your back again? When did mosh pits become so unruly? I told you, you should get a massage. Oh, I've never enjoyed having massages. I don't like being naked in front of strangers. And I can never relax if I think someone might play Nora Jones. Who wants to hear another Space Star ordering success story? Oh, yep, yep. Okay, okay. <laughs> Go! Last week, I decided I wanted to learn how to do tattoos. So, I did the business, bought a book on tattoos, read it, and now I know how to do tattoos. Look! My helicopter! Oh, oh that's brilliant. Let me see! Oh! What the bloody oh. hell's wrong with you? Oh, no, I have a really bad back. You should see a masseuse. Don't see a masseuse. They're the biggest con of the 20th century. I had a bad back, and I cured it thanks to the techniques outlined in this groundbreaking expose of the massage industry. Go like this, and push your back up. Oh, for fall! That's worse! That's way worse! It's terrible, isn't it? You told me that would make it better! No, 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 that's how I originally injured my back. Yeah, yeah. it feels so much better already. So that's why I ended up joining the parachute regiment. Oh, yeah, and the paras. That's the one I would have joined. But in fear of height. Were you in the army? No. Oh, that's... I'll do a little bit of work on his eyes. Oh, yeah, hey, you do what you need to do. Did you see that ludicrous display last night? That's my genie thinking, eh? But Arsenal is the old stride walk, is it? <laughs> Arsenal. Whoever we're talking about. There we go. Oh, thanks again, man. This really does feel so much better. There we are. All finished. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, my God. New fear, new phobia unlocked, even though it's, like, without a question. Don't put yourself in that position, man. Don't. Just don't. <laughs> like, you can... Oh, no. Oh, I've never had a massage, and I don't know if I'll ever get one. No, the man, I had one once, and that was not relaxing. It was no? a, a deep tissue massage. Holy crap, man. Like, that little <clears throat> lady, man. She was either, like, ex-UFC or some, like, cage fighter in from the Philippines. I don't know what in the shit. She was throwing elbows and knees. And I'm like, dude, I walked out of there. The next day, I was like, fuck that. Like, I'm never doing that shit again. Oh, oh no. So, anyway. Damn. Um, yeah, that's scarring. Yeah, I'm with you there. <laughs> Goodness me. What would you term what just happened there? Norman says my voice is extraordinary. 
Oh. He's right. Oh, this is it, you know. This is the guy. This is the big one. There's nothing about him I don't like. When he's asleep, he makes this sound. A lovely little gentle purr. This is a long song. The last few days have been indescribable. Good. Hi, Roy. What? What? You were right. If the massage didn't freak him out, Jen singing probably would. Oh, yeah. No, yeah, but, um, yeah, Roy is just, he's a different man now. Yeah. He's a different man. <laughs> <laughs> that was oh. life changing. Oh my god. Oh. Your back's still hurting. Didn't you go to see the misuse? Yes, I did. Did it help? No. Are you okay? But yeah, fine. It's just that you've got the same face that you have when you eat vegetables. Something happened. Yes, when I was getting the massage, the misuse did something. Go on. I'm going to tell you. But you have to promise not to laugh at me, because this whole thing has left me very shaken. OK. I promise I will not laugh. OK. He kissed me on the arse. Sorry, I may have misheard you there. Boy. What did you just say? I was enjoying the massage. Everything had gone very well. Then, at the end, he just leaned down and he gave me a big kiss on the arse. You thought I'd find that funny? Well, yeah, I suppose I did. And what? Planet, would that be funny? Whereabouts on the arse did he kiss you? I don't know, just, just to the left of the line that goes down the middle. The cleft or horizon. Is that what it's called? Yes, it is, but never mind that. What happened next? Well, then I just got dressed and I left. Have you told Jen this? No, I was really afraid she'd laugh at me. Do you think Jen's a monster? She wouldn't laugh. This man crossed the line. He is a member of the medical profession. Roy, look, there is nothing funny about this. I think he crossed the line. I don't think it's funny. I was so relaxed, and then that just tensed me right up again. My hands were like that for an hour. I couldn't get them into my pockets to pay him. You paid him? Roy, I've got to tell you, I think you've got grounds to sue. Really? What is that? That's Jen. That's what she does now. Listen to this. Jen, you know that I went for that massage. You are not going to believe this. The bloke who did it kissed me on my arse. No, Jen, my masseuse kissed me on my bum. <laughs> my body went into spasms. My hands were like this for an hour. Stop it! You're killing me. You've got to spread that kind of material out. I can't believe this. <laughs> so what's the problem? I know, he doesn't write, he doesn't call. What do you think he was coming on to you? I don't know. Oh, maybe he's like the uh, Michelangelo of physical therapists. That's like <laughs> his signature. Maybe he does it to everybody. To be honest, I don't care why he did it. All I know is that I was vulnerable. I was naked, and he kissed me on my bottom. And I'll tell you something. This is not the last that he has heard of me. As God is my witness, no man shall ever have to be kissed on his bottom unexpectedly because of this man ever again. Will you stop laughing? First off, Jen's a dick. Oh, man. <laughs> and second of all, massage therapists aren't always in the medical profession. And I only know this because I actually was considering going to massage therapy school. Wow. Like, a couple years ago. And I turned it down because I was like, you know what? I don't want to be one of those sleazeballs. Yeah, and I, I mean, it, 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 and I don't know, man. I don't know. Yeah. It's always... I wouldn't... I wouldn't mind been like being a physical therapist. That's different. Yeah. Like for like recovery and shit. Those guys do the work. But yeah, no. Masseuse? Mm -hmm. No. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Man. Yeah. And plus the term masseuse can be used for a few other professions as well. Pretty much. Yeah. This is the first time I've left before you. We're looking up legal precedents of Roy being kissed on the arse. Don't sue him, Roy. He'll get on the news. Don't listen to her. Everyone will laugh. No one will laugh. Come on, Jen. Help us bring this monster to justice. I can't leave Banda playing a new song tonight. They want my opinion. You know, just say it's great. Roy, I am a person with thoughts and opinions. No, you're not. Jen, please, just say it's great. When people like that ask you what you think, all they actually want to hear is that they're geniuses. Goodbye. <laughs> she is evil. Face star ordering success story uh, number three. My tattoo got infected, 
So they've had to cut off my arm. I am getting a robot hand. In the world, I am beautiful. Really beautiful. Oh, God, it's just a great song. Re really great. If you put a gun to my head and force me to give one criticism, it'd be that maybe it goes on just a bit too long. Apart from that, perfect. OK. Listen, Tim, Mary's not going to make it tonight. What are we going to do about backing vocals? I'd love to. Mars, oh, can no. I ask you a question? Sure. Do I have to testify? I can't make that decision for you, Roy. You've just got to ask yourself one thing. If you don't take the stand, how many more unsolicited bum kisses will be administered by that lip-happy bastard? No, you're right. I know you're right. I do want to testify. I'm just afraid that they're all going to laugh at me. They're all... What if they're all like Jen? They're not going to laugh, Roy. No one's like Jen. I've come to realise she's actually a very odd person. Wow. Well, good luck tonight, everyone. Are you a big Stevie Nicks fan, Jen? Stevie Nicks, yeah, yeah. Thanks so much for this, guys. I'm so excited. I've never done anything like this before. I, I can't believe you want me to do it. I won't let you down. So, Norman, we've had a talk, and we think we're going to go back to not having a keyboard in the band. Oh, no! Yeah, I'm sorry, but we'll see you both again soon, yeah? Wait, I'm out too. Listen there, don't let your girlfriend in the band. You've said that on this channel more than once. Yeah, it's happened on a couple occasions. Nope. And in more shows than just this one. Nope. Yeah. And the defendant gave no indication that he had any intention of kissing you on the bottom? <clears throat> no indication whatsoever. He just kissed me on my bottom, out of nowhere. What was the result? Well, I had nightmares about it, and I can't stop washing my bottom, and I find it hard to trust masseurs. Where exactly did he kiss you? It was in the middle. In the middle of your bottom? Well, uh, just to the left of the cleftal horizon. In layman's terms, please, Mr. Treneman. Uh, I'm sorry, Your Honour. Just to the left of the bum line. Just above the thigh? Well above the thigh. It was on my bottom. Although it is true, is it not, that what some people might call their bottom, others might call their hip. No, it, he kissed my bottom, sir. But is it not true? He kissed me on my bottom. Why is no one laughing? It's no laughing matter, Jen. We spaceologists take this kind of thing very seriously. Oh, are all these people spaceologists? Yes, this trial could bring the massage industry to its knees. And you'll find they take this case with the gravity it deserves. Perhaps Mr. Treneman might be able to help us with the aid of this diagram. Please place this picture of the defendant on the area where you say he kissed you. That was where the incident happened. I think that's accurate. Oh, you think that is accurate? Yes. Because only a moment ago you were quite sure, and yet now you only think... You're twisting my words! Is it not true that this may simply be an artist proud of his work signing off with a flourish? That is not the point. Yes, thank you, Mr. Treneman. That will be all. My arse is not a canvas! Uh, that will be all, thank you. My bottom is not a kissing post, sir! You can dress this up however you like with your fancy words, but the truth remains that that man, sitting there, Kissed me on my bike rack. And I was not expecting it. And it rendered an expensive massage worthless. Your Honour, please. And I am here today so that no man need be kissed on his sweet meats by this man ever again. Unless they have arranged it beforehand for some reason. Will you be silent? I will not be silent. I will never be silent. I will not stop until those lips are behind bars. How dare you? I trusted you. My trouser hands are not for sale, sir. I put my arse in your hands. I rest my case. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have used my robot hand for good. Wake up. <laughs> oh, man. This has been one of the best ones of the series so far. That, 50, 70 thumbs up. That's about that. all of them for me, man. Yeah. Like, holy crap, dude. <laughs> that was worth every second. Roy's oh testimony, like, that just, oh, man. The whole, that was brilliant. The whole dig at spaceology as, you know, we are, we get that reference. Yeah, but, yeah. But um, <laughs> that just, 
the whole ep the whole episode was glorious. Mm. I love that they have the three insane train wrecks. Like it's brilliant. <laughs> like the cult, the ass kissing, and the story of Jen with the fell in love with the band guy, the keyboardist. It's a big comedy of tragedy, whatever the term is. There's oh a my term God, for it. Dude. I can't remember. H I comedy of hours. Like, yeah. I just feel like they cram so much relatable content from all all around the place. One yeah. it's not like one dimensional. And I mm -hmm. love that, man. Multi dimensional. Yes. <laughs> space space Spaceology. <laughs> ah, dude. <laughs> space maths and wishy dreaming. I'm there for it. Anyway. Yeah. Man, we've got three more of this series and then the Christmas special. So four more of these. Ugh. Man gonna be over too soon yeah it yeah. is i want to miss this one dude uh, you and me both man you and me both anyway youtube thanks for watching just somewhere around to subscribe and watch another video yes. patreon thanks for your patronage and keeping the lights on wash your hands scrub your toes wipe your ass blow your nose embrace a suck unplug and do something epic guys see y'all next time later fellas we could be that mistake let's do this